Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. In tribute to its late star Raquel Welch, we're looking at 1 million years BC, which you can stream free with a trial of Studio Canal, the most ambitious and most profitable film made by British production company Hammer. Following on from the success of She, which we reviewed recently, Hammer was looking for another spectacular production that would reunite stars Ursula Andress and John Richardson. <clears throat> they settled on a remake of 1940's 1 million BC, a Stone Age love story in which the men are dirty, hairy savages, <coughs> and the women aren't. But Andress passed, and Hammer turned to an actress who had just had her first lead role in Fantastic Voyage. The reaction of Richardson's Tumac on seeing Loana for the first time reflected that of every man in the audience. Welch later claimed not to have been interested in the role, but took it thinking that nobody would remember this thing. She was wrong. To celebrate what they were calling their hundredth film, but probably isn't, Hammer pushed the boat out, hiring stop-motion legend Ray Harryhausen to update the giant lizards of the original film. By his own admission, the inclusion of an iguana and a tarantula were Harryhausen's own idea, feeling that starting with real live animals would make the dinosaurs more believable. He needn't have worried. The effects took nearly nine months to complete, but include some of the animator's most memorable work using all of his skill to convince audiences that humans and dinosaurs were in the same scene. The plot is largely incidental. There is no love lost between them, and that is our story. This opening voiceover is the only recognisable speech in the film. Oudala. 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 But the simple tale of jealousy, <laughs> brutality, <laughs> love, and survival doesn't need dialogue. Here, Welch's Loana faces off with her rival, Nupondi, played by Martin Besic in the first of her three Hammer films. Though Nupondi loses the fight, in real life it was Besic who would marry John Richardson. But if the story needs no dialogue, it does need acting. It's easy to write off the performance of Welch as posing in a fur bikini, but it's worth noting that the two follow-ups, both of which went strong on the fur bikini angle, failed. Though she was later dismissive of the film, Harryhausen remembered Welch taking the role seriously and praised her ability to turn Loana into a believable character. Maybe it's not a great film, but without that performance drawing us through, we're just sitting waiting for the next dinosaur. While it might not be the film for which she wanted to be remembered, One Million Years BC puts Raquel Welch in a very small club of actors who have successfully upstaged Ray Harryhausen, even if she needed a fur bikini to do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What are your favourite films, appearances, moments of Raquel Welch? Share your memories in the comments below.